everyone welcome back I hope that you're doing well it's a beautiful day here in Florida it's uh, sunny not cloudy the sky is just blue 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 I have my little messy bun that I usually wear unless I'm going out of the house and I thought I would do a little makeup look I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible but I tend to kind of go on and on or find a subject and just excuse me chatter chatter got my little drink here water h2o and i have a couple new products that i'm going to try first i'm going to put on my foundation and the foundation that i've been really loving lately is the luminous silk foundation by giorgio armani and my color is 5.5 i also really like the pharmacy vfx pro but today I'm going to use the Armani because I like the way it looks on camera better. And I'm just going to pump out some on the back of my hand, maybe two pumps. And get a little blending brush. Okay, this is an old um, F80 Kabuki from, uh, what is that company? Uh, Sigma. You can tell I have not done a video in quite a while, especially a makeup video. I'm going to just put this all around. I like to use this foundation with a sponge and with the blending brush, but I feel like the blending brush is uh, a little quicker. I put a little bit, lip, lip, a little bit more in the back of my hand. Just kind of go over lightly this can be um, built up to a full coverage there's tons of reviews here on um, YouTube you can check those out but I just really enjoy it and then I kind of go over my eyelid or eyelids and that's about the coverage that I want then I'm going to use a concealer wipe off some of this foundation I've been enjoying this a lot this is the um, covergirl true blend undercover undercover yeah and my color is buff beige m150 and I found that a little goes a long way in fact I might put a little too much there but I'll blend it out just put it like on the areas that I usually like to conceal or sometimes even highlight. Then I'm going to take a blending brush here and go over my chin. A little bit here on the. I don't really have like that line yet, but I have like the making of, of the. Uh, I forget what these are called. Marionette. So I just like to make them look a little lighter. And I have a little darkness on the tip of my nose. And then I have some darkness here. As you've seen, I do go over uh, the under eyes with my foundation. Not a lot, just a little bit. It just helps to conceal the darkness. And I'm looking down at my mirror, that's the top of this. Hope the lighting is as good as it's looking in the camera. It looks really good. Blend, blend, blend. Blend. I blend really well in the corner of my eyes. It seems to like gather there. Okay, now let's try some eye makeup or eyeshadow. This is a palette by uh, ColourPop. It's Disney's Frozen 2. And I like it because it has the names on the back. And these are the shades. Okay. I'm going to take a blending brush and... Trying to bend this mirror back. Take this color here 
and that is the fire. I show this briefly into um, into on an Instagram story. If you don't follow me, I'm the same as I am here, uh, the Darling Debs. All my social media is that. I, I just have an Instagram, a Twitter, uh, and then, of course, YouTube. I do have a Facebook, but I like to keep that for people that are family or friends or that I've gotten to know, to know overline, uh, online. And that is really pretty. I like that. On me, it sort of looks like a mauve. It's probably because of my skin tone and the fact that I have foundation as a, um, what do you call it, like a base. For me, I find that they just work the best. And then I kind of lift up here at the end. Pretty. Okay, we'll go back to that. Now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go into this color water. Right there, I shouldn't point with that finger. And I'm going to tap that on the eyelid. Now so far, I like the consistency of the shadows. They could be a little bit more pigmented, but I'm not really complaining. I think this was like $18 and I really love the colors. And just notice I'm just tapping it and building it up. I like to do that when eyeshadow colors are not very bold. Instead of just swiping it on, I just tap it and build it up. That's pretty. I'm going to put one more little coat. There. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a color, one of these like darker ones. I can't decide. I think I'll go with this more matte look. Uh, maybe I'll go with the one that is like a little sparkly. I'm really bad at holding these up. It's right there and it's called Awakened. And believe it or not, I have never seen any of the Frozen movies. And I'm going to put some in the outer V. Oh, that's a pretty color. Really pretty. A little bit on the side I just gently apply that kind of like stamping a V that is really pretty I'm sorry if you can hear my dad talking in the back. He must have forgot I said it was filming. <laughs> um, I'm going to go back with fire. The color that I have in the crease. And I'm going to blend that. And then kind of blend that, uh, what is that, awakened on the edge. I don't know why. I tend to like lean my head when I'm doing eyeshadow. Lean or turn it like I am now. That's really pretty. I like the way that blue and like a pinky and mauvey brown go. They go really nice. Very nice. And then just for kicks, I'm going to put one of these sparkly shadows. I think I'm going to go with the Northern Lights. This is right there. Northern Lights and right there in the middle right there 
What am I doing on time? Oh, only 10 minutes. That's good. I like that. It's really pretty. Whoop. And then we'll go back with the blending brush. I'm not going to add any other color, but I'm just going to blend this area between the crease and the brow bone. So I'm not going to add any color to the brow bone. I like the way it is looking. And then I'm just going to flick this up just to make sure there's no color that's dragging my eyes down. Okay, I need a little water. Now I'm going to just try this lip that I bought, Lippy. It's the ColourPop Just a Tint. And this was in collaboration with Emily Noel 83. And the color is on the cap, which I found interesting. And it's called Treasure Island. You can see that. Please pardon my nails. I need to give myself a good manicure. My lips are kind of dry, but this is like a glossy balm. So I think this will be nice. As you see, I put the color on the bottom and then I like stamp it onto the top. And then I go over this like lip liner. Mm, that's nice. Ooh, love that color. Now, to me, it has a light fruity scent and the taste is a little bit bolder, but I've worn this color one time before and the the scent and the taste just kind of dissipate with time. Okay, let's put some blush on and some other things. Gonna go in with my favorite blush palette of all time, the Jouer. And I like to just kind of mix, whoop. I like to mix this color and this color and then maybe a pop of that. And that's the uh, Marigold, Follow Me, and then the last one looks like it's Kiss Me. Mm, pretty. And actually, I like the way this is going on, so I'm not even going to use the Kiss Me because Kiss Me is pretty bright pink right here. I haven't really used this color yet. That color is Seduce Me, and I think it would be uh, to use like all on its own because it's pretty pigmented and bright. And then I like to push that too, like not really into my skin, but just pushing it a little bit. It sort of blends it out for me. A little more of that light pink. Mm. Love it, love it, love it. Now to sort of set my makeup and to blend everything together. Oh, I found, forgot bronzer. I've gone back to using, and I should have put all this on the table, but I didn't. Bobbi Brown uh, Bronzing Powder in Golden Light 1. And when I first purchased this, purchased this, I really thought it was really too light, but it's not. And I like to use this just like I would use a blush. On me, I like it better. I don't like the harsh line of um, contouring. But I do like to put a little there in my little, little chin. I've been much happier with my chin and my like mustache area as I've been going for laser hair removal. And... It hasn't been like really painful. I like where I go. It's a med spa that's med. <laughs> it's a med spa that's part of my dermatologist's office. And they gave, you know, they made like a package up for me. Um, I also had a little bit of Botox. Now you can still see the line. 
It's the first time that I've ever had any Botox. I've never had any type of fillers. I'm 55 years old. I had like a little bit of a line for about 13 years now. And just lately, it has been getting deeper. And when I see pictures of myself, I feel like I look like I'm angry. And I'm not an angry person. I mean, I get angry like everybody, but in general, I'm just not an angry person. So it really bothered me. And I went to the med spa, got some good quotes. And I, ha I don't know the amount that I had. I have it all written down, but of course I didn't, you know, bring it here on my vanity. Um, but I had a very light amount or small amount and then about three weeks for about four weeks later I wasn't happy I felt like I needed a little more softening so she put a little bit more and then the next time I go in like a few months I will have the larger dose all at one time and we'll see she put like a shot here a shot here the second time first time I had four like one here one here and I've really liked the way this has lifted up a little bit not a lot you know I don't look like crazy like I have no expression but <clears throat> I do see a little bit of the line and she told me that I probably would but it, it is really softened from before which makes me very happy very happy so oh you know I didn't even put mascara on too busy talking. I'm gonna take my little eyelash curler here. And this is by um, Shiseido. So yes, I uh, getting back to the spa treatments. I really like the way I'm responding to the laser hair because I was getting to the point where I had like five o'clock shadow and just Wildly, wild, wildly embarrassing. I mean, sometimes if I was gone for a long day, I'd bring like a little razor with me, go into the bathroom and shave a little bit because it was so embarrassed. I probably didn't need it, but you know, you get so, you know, you, I'm a woman and I don't feel like being bearded, some, bearded or having mustaches, something that I want in my life, so just really happy the outcome right now um, I've done two treatments and the end of this month which is March I go back for my fourth no not my third and uh, I have after that two more treatments so really three and I just can't imagine how it's going to be when it's all done. I'm, I'm really, really, really happy. You know, it's weird. I could sit all day and my mouth doesn't get dry. The minute I start talking, so that's what's going on with that. I'm going for a touch up this weekend. I had to say, with the color that my colorist does, I do like a base and then some highlights and lowlights. Uh, the gray doesn't show really fast, which makes me totally happy. And with this look, I'm not even going to put eyeliner. Uh, that's another thing. I've kind of changed up uh, my makeup the last maybe two months where I couldn't like go out of the house without eyeliner. But now I feel if I've got my eyes done, especially in a nice bold color, doesn't need it and if this were late in the evening or going out for a date night I can take some of these colors and go like underneath here but it's early evening it's like what five o'clock or something like that so I hope that you enjoyed this look with my little messy bun and that you're doing well I'm really happy to make a video for you and in fact I probably will do a quick one after this so look for another one after that I think it's going to be my skincare favorites and that's had to kind of change up too for a little bit but I'll explain that in the video take care of you and take care of yourselves stay well stay healthy and try to find your calm peace in the day and just 
you know, this is not even about God or what you believe in. It is about just being grateful for the things, the blessings in your life. And I am grateful for you. Bye-bye.